Hello again and welcome to Suzanne Elizabeth's Kitchen. It's a snowy Sunday afternoon here in Colorado, which is a perfect day for doing make-ahead meals that will get you through the rest of the week. So that's what we're going to show you today. We're making meatballs and meatloaf. And it's really the perfect type of uh, dish to make together because um, you can use the same ingredients. Wonderful thing about meatloaf is that you can put your own spin on it depending on what flavors you incorporate into the meat. So in my case, what I've done is I'm going with an Italian theme since I'm doing the meatballs at the same time. And because I had a lot of vegetables and I'm always trying to incorporate vegetables into my meals, um, I'll show you what I've done here and this is really terrific if you're trying to incorporate more vegetables into your meals, especially if you have young children who are not big on vegetables. So here in this bowl I have three pounds of ground beef, one pound of ground sausage, a cup of oatmeal, and a cup of milk. And I've just gently mixed it together because again you don't want to smoosh your meat because it'll end up being tough. On top of that I added two small cans of mushrooms just because I had them in the pantry and some um, marinated roasted uh, red bell peppers that I had made earlier this summer and then here's what I really love I have added I cubed two eggplants and two or three little zucchinis and a summer squash that I had I roasted them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees on a cake sheet, let them cool afterwards, and now I'm just going to incorporate them gently into my ground meat. Um, I'm also going to add a can of tomato paste, again because this is going to add some wonderful flavor and um, some moisture. So you'll have both really important ingredients in your uh, meatloaf or your meatballs. At this point, it's really just good to get your hands in there. Now again, clean hands. We washed them with soap and water. And now we're just going to very lightly mix all these ingredients together. You can see I'm being very gentle. You're not going to squeeze the the goodness out of this because you don't want tough meat. You want it nice and gentle. Now, this is literally all you have to do. This is the hardest part of the meal preparation. Now what we're going to do is I've got some 8 by 5 um, loaf pans. So I can, what I can do, and this is again really up to you. Um, I've got three pans here you could make three meatloafs, you could make one meatloaf, and then say a dozen or two meatballs. Your choice. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do a little bit of both. So I'm taking one big blob of meat, and I'm very carefully putting it into my meatloaf pan, and just laying it in there. And then if you want, you could add um, another layer of ketchup. You could, you could put a couple strips of bacon on there or nothing at all. I would probably put some ketchup. Just, again, moisture so that your meatloaf doesn't dry out while it's baking. So we're going to do that. Let's make another meatloaf really quickly. And then we'll use the rest for meatballs. And... What's lovely about these meatloafs, if you can see, there's you've got this wonderful variety of vegetables and the roasted vegetables. And I promise you, your children will love, love these vegetables because they're mixed in with all these other wonderful flavors. Okay, so now we've got the rest of this meat left. And we're just gonna take it very gently handling it very gently, and roll it into a rough 
circular meatball. The size depends on your preference. You could make some large meatballs, you can make small meatballs. The, the key is that all of this is going to be baked today. And then what we're going to do is freeze what we don't use today. So that during the week, we can just take these, um, after we've cooked them, we're going to, and after they've cooked and cooled, we'll put them in uh, plastic zip top bags, put them in the freezer, and when you have a busy weeknight, you can pull them out. You've got um, meatloaf that you can just reheat and serve it with a vegetable or a potato. You've got it ready in 30 minutes or less. You can take these meatballs, boil some pasta, throw together a quick tomato sauce. You've got spaghetti and meatballs. Or take the meatballs and um, reheat them, split them in half. While they're reheating, throw together a really quick pizza crust using that instant pizza yeast. You'll have pizza, pizza dough ready in five minutes and it, I promise you it tastes 100% better than anything that you buy in a store. Put some tomato sauce over the pizza dough after you've spread it out on your cookie sheet, of course, and uh, top it with some of these meatballs split in half, uh, some shredded mozzarella cheese, throw it in the oven for 10 or 15 minutes until the dough cooks through. You've got a meatball pizza your children will love, and I promise you, um, it's less than the cost of any pizza that you buy from takeout, and it tastes 100% better. So, once again, great way to plan meals ahead, weeknight meals that'll be ready in 10 or 15 minutes, and um, very economical, and a great way to get vegetables already into your meals. And look, I've got eight, 16 meatballs here. Whoops, 16, eight, 18 meatballs now. I have 18 meatballs and two meatloafs. And as you saw, look how quickly that was ready. And now, how many meals will that be during the week for you? And they're all ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this cooking lesson, and I'll see you again soon. This is Suzanne Elizabeth, and thank you for joining me. Bye.